So the mind is not finished at death. The mind is not like uh, a, a fire you douse with water and it just goes out. The mind, loosed from the body, has its own um, birthless, deathless quality. And when the elements of your body, your physical body, can no longer sustain you, it means that the male, the, the, the male and female energy that you gained at the time of conception which created a, a place for your mind to be. And your body grew, and your mind-body interaction continued through birth, through the bardo of this life, and it begins to dissipate in the bardo of dying, up to the bardo of death. When death actually occurs, then this cocoon of our body breaks, and the mind is loosed. So... This moment when the mind is loosed is a very beautiful and um, primordially perfect moment. It's not that that moment only happens at death. That moment is present for us all the time. That perfect, pure, openness moment, birthless, deathless moment, is always present but we are very preoccupied with the interaction of our mind-body continuum. And so the state of life dominates our experience. So we don't notice this perfect present moment. But at death, when this interaction of body-mind continuum breaks, then the moment that has always been there timelessly becomes obvious. We're so overwhelmed with our hopes and our fears of everyday life that this present perfection just becomes sublimated. And so then, even though we have it, it's not recognized. And so meditation is an antidote to this lack of recognition. In that meditation, produces the opportunity for you to experience the natural, open, timelessness of your being. That capacity in this life, why they meditate, you know, why they sit in caves, why they, like, do, why they do that? There's got to be a good reason. Nobody just does that for no reason. There's a reason, and the reason is this experience of the true nature of your mind. We need that. Because when you have experience in this life of the true nature of your mind, when you die, when you die, it's crucial. Because there is your nature. And they say in the text, it's like the child running into the lap of their mother. Your mind in, in non-division with your mind's pure nature. But that only comes because of familiarity. The child knows their mother. There's no hesitation when a child runs into the lap of their mother. In the same way, at the moment of death, for the meditators who are in, in ownership of their true nature, they are able to, to be free in their true nature without any hesitation or hope or fear. 